So you might be in a situation where contact sharing is now working between your two different iPhones. Now what contact sharing is basically is that it's the ability of sharing a contact by literally tapping these two iPhones right next to each other on their notches like this. And you can basically share a specific contact over to somebody else. Now it's a very cool thing. I love this feature a lot, but it may not work for some of you. The first thing you have to remember is you have to be on iOS 17 or newer in order for this to work. So if you are not on iOS 17, the official version as of this point, then it's just not going to work for you. And that's basically the number one thing to keep in mind. Now, another thing you're going to have to keep in mind too, is that even if you are on iOS 17, you will have to make sure you're on one of the newer versions and not just on an older beta. If you are on an older beta, especially the first beta of iOS 17, that's also not going to work. So you're just going to have to keep that in mind as well. You're basically going to have to you know, make sure you're on iOS 17, the official version or newer, in order for this thing to actually work you know, in the specific point. Now, another thing you're going to have to do as well is to make sure that you are tapping your specific you know, iPhones together at the very top. So if you were just like kind of like tapping them like this, sometimes it may work. Sometimes even if you go kind of close like this, it may work. But you are going to have to like actually like put them kind of close to each other like this in order for the contact sharing thing to actually start working. So that's another thing. On top of that, you're also going to want to make sure you have like Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth on, and you have, you know, your airdrop option on as well. If those things are off, well, then that's basically going to be the reason why this is not working. So you're going to have to make sure those specific things are on as well, because if those are off, well, that's probably going to be the reason why you're running into these types of problems. Now, another thing that may end up causing some issues too, is that if you're on a weird version of iOS that's not working anymore on iOS 17, in that case, you can try restarting your phone. You also try updating your phone as well. But those are basically the main things I'd recommend doing in that case. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.